Another episode of All Stars All Wrapped Up today was all about She MZ. I really enjoyed the premise of this challenge, but in the end, my favorite part of the challenge ends up being the group of queens not in drag pretending to be macho ish dudes, if that's the best way to describe it. Like, I really enjoyed those little shots. The actual scenes themselves, uh, I really felt all three fell pretty flat for me. Um, you know, it ended, the challenge ended, and I was thinking, you know, I really have, I really don't have much of an opinion on who should go home. There was no performance that really stood out to me as, wow, they, they were really good, or wow, they were really bad. The only thing I really picked up on was it felt like uh, Blair St. Clair just did wasn't really participating that much in in her scene and outside of that like that was that was the only thing that really stood out to me uh, I really did not envy the judges today having to make those decisions and uh, it really felt to me like the two queens who were kind of in the bottom part of the group overall just ended up being our bottom today uh, I think you really could have made a case for anyone to have landed in the top or landed in the bottom and uh yeah i'm not not too upset about the outcome of tonight's episode so when it initially came up that they were picking picking these groups or having the groups assigned to them and rue called out mayhem in india you're on a team together i just immediately thought to myself yep they're the bottom like it seemed like it seemed like a setup almost. Like the whole thing seemed like a setup. Even when it comes down to the lip sync assassin and Rue declares both uh, Morgan McMichael's and Miss Cracker as winners, it was like I think Rue wanted both of those queens to go home. Like that felt intentional to me. And I really thought when, when she said, like, like Miss Cracker, you're a winner too, I really thought that Cracker was sending India home. And uh, I really find it surprising that both the group and Miss Cracker voted to send home Mayhem. Uh, I think that Mayhem and India have both been quite weak all season long. But uh, yeah, India, that's, I believe, three weeks in a row in the bottom. And to be not sent home, that's uh, very interesting to me. Maybe it's a case of the other queens are just so not threatened by her. There's no reason to send her home. I don't, I don't really know. Um, we also had a little bit of drama at the start between Alexis and Shay. And it was one of my, this is like one of my reality show pet peeves is people getting all wrapped up in who voted for who. That's one thing I've never really understood. Like, yeah, you have to vote for somebody. Like, that's part of the game. Like, that's part of the thing you signed up for. Like, why are you going to be mad somebody voted against you? Like, that's, it's, it, you knew that was going to happen. Like, that's, that's part of the game. Like, vote people aren't all going to unanimously, unanimously vote for the same person to go home each and every week. Like, it's fine that somebody voted for you. You're still there. Like, maybe you, maybe you keep that in the back of your head. But I know if I was in that situation, that is not something I'd want to dwell on, is having had someone vote against me. I would not want to dwell on that negative. You know, I'd just be happy I'm still there and work to make sure that I wasn't in the position to be in the bottom ever again. Um, what else did I miss tonight? Um, the lip sync battle between Cracker and Morgan McMichaels was, I thought, really good. Um, I, I thought it was a toss up between who was gonna win and when it was done, I kind of gave the edge to uh, Miss Cracker by a hair and when the initial announcement of Morgan McMichaels being the winner I was like oh well that's uh, that sucks for Cracker but I mean 
five seconds later, RuPaul announces, oh, by the way, Cracker, you won as well. So I thought that, I thought that was good. Um, that's about all I really have to say for this week. Uh, the other real big topic that, that, got, that got covered in the show today was uh, Blair St. Clair came out and said, like, you know, like, I, I did have a D, D, DUI when I was younger, and it was kind of all over TMZ. They were just joking around in the workroom, like, hey, who's been on TMZ? And she came out with that, and then Mayhem spoke up and said, told this story about, you know, I've, I've had two DUIs. I was arrested in drag in both s- situations, and for one of the instances... Uh, Mayhem was forced to strip buck naked in front of everyone else who was in, in lockup that night. And one of the officers took a picture of her as she was basically being humiliated. And I think that resonates very loudly with what's happening in the United States right now. And even hearing any story along those lines of just how police behave themselves in such a disgusting, reprehensible manner just uh, sickens me a little bit. And it was hard to hear Mayhem say that story. And uh, yeah, glad that, that it's something that Mayhem grew from, but still unfortunate that it was something that she had to go through. So... Uh, I hope that as we move forward in the world, that those situations start to be less frequent and less frequent and hopefully soon one day non-existent. Um, I think that's where I'm going to wrap up for today. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next week.